Simon, like most reviewers, you review stuff at home and you have large yes. amounts of kit to swap in and out, even if they are large speakers that uh, have three people to carry them in and install <laughs> them. And, and that's great. You can set it up how you want. You can get it sounding amazing. You can spend your time over reviewing that kit. But I understand that there was a pair of speakers that you did not review at home and you had to go to Essex to look Essex. at. Essex. Is that right? Yeah. Tell us all. Hartford Crossing and everything. It was uh, another pair of monitor audio speakers. I know I've just said that their platinum range is a flagship, but the monitor audio was 50 years old last year. And by way of celebration, they uh, developed a loudspeaker called Concept 50. Uh, and it was so well received when they showed it at uh, different places that they decided to put it into into production. It's not called Concept 50 anymore. It's called Hyphen, but without an E. Um, and it's it is a passive loudspeaker, but it, it's a quite a thorough reimagining of of, of passive loudspeaker. And the result of the, and this is what you get if you allow your designers and your engineers free reign. You end up with uh, with a loudspeaker that needs to be hand built and costs seventy five thousand pounds a pair. I, I, I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. <laughs> seventy five thousand pounds a pair. I mean, that's for a pair, obviously. Well, Ed, I'm I'm glad it's <laughs> it's for a, a pair. Um, mm. from the photo, Simon, I can't tell the size of them, or, or tell me a little bit about the physical characteristics. S smaller than a, smaller than a Platinum 300, still quite tall, but no, there are many, many loudspeakers bigger than a pair of monitor audio hyphen. Um, they work in sort of two pillars. Each speaker is, is two separate enclosures joined across the middle um, by uh, a mid-range and treble driver array. A hyphen in architecture, I believe, is a is a link between two structures, uh, and and there's a there's a bridge between these two pillars um, in these loudspeakers. And then, so you have six small mid-range drivers with a, a ribbon tweeter in the center in that middle array, and then on the inside of each of the pillars, there are a pair of bass drivers which operate in a sort of a force cancelling principle. So uh, you've got eight bass drivers uh 12 mid-range drivers and a pair of tweeters um and a lot of extremely uh carefully constructed cabinet work which is all finished by hand and i might have suggested when i was at monitor audio that it put me in mind of um corian kitchen work surfaces that didn't go well but uh nevertheless we recovered ourselves from there uh, and we're all friends again I can't imagine why that wouldn't go down well. Um, <laughs> coming back to the number of drivers, though, that's a lot of drivers. Uh, nice mm. and smooth. No, no sort of obvious edginess around that. Or what to 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 the sound? You mean to the or sound? To the, uh, yeah. to, to the no, the the sound. I was. I mean, dimin we've already talked about diminishing returns and and uh, seventy five thousand pounds of loudspeakers is not. You know, it's not 10 times better than £7,000 worth of loudspeakers, which equally are not 10 times better than 700 quid's worth. But they are outstanding loudspeakers. I mean, almost humbling in the, in the, in the sort of immediacy and the positivity and the fidelity that, that they're capable of. And unlike the, the Platinums that we talked about, they don't seem to insist on a massive room in which to work. Although if you've got 75 grand for speakers, I presume it, even your bathroom is massive, let alone the room you're you're listening in. Uh, it must be a little bit like getting a, a Willy Wonka gold ticket when you go on down <laughs> to monitor to, to, you know, like a real VIP experience to uh, have the pleasure of listening to those speakers, is it not? It was, no, it was nice to go and do that, yeah. And, and in this instance, I'm glad that I had to go there rather than have the product come to me. I don't want to be left in charge of £75,000 worth of speakers. Anything could happen. I, uh, there's a, there are limits to my to my business insurance that would quite easily be breached. Thank you very much for uh, for going and carrying out that mission to uh, to Essex in order to get that that review. Um, 
But if you happen to not have uh, that amount of money, um, then I will put a link below this video to lots and lots of speakers which are also very good and not quite that amount of money. Sorry, Simon, tell me how much that amount of money was again. 75,000 pounds. 